Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I just wanted to show you I just got something new in the mail today. I received, you don't see it inside here because it's actually inside of there, <clears throat> a, a one-tenth of a micro carry sample of strontium-90. And of course I already have a tenth of a micro carry of polonium-210. Now, I will be doing my um, Geiger Counters 101 beta video probably this weekend as a result of the fact that I now have a good beta source. But let me show you what I have here. This is kind of an impromptu video. First off, most nuclear people are perfectly willing to hold up a little tiny beta source like this. It's only about 3,700 becquerels, which is 3,700 decays per second. But as you all know, I'm more paranoid than most. So I use a gripper tool. Yes, and I encapsulate it inside of this. This is aluminum. Aluminum, as most people may or may not know, guards against radiation. Well, guards against beta radiation. As you can see, it stops pretty much all of the beta particles coming out of this. Now let me remove the top. There we go. From back here, it's already picking it up. Look at that. 480 counts per minute, 600. I'd like to point out that the, for people who, who are showing their, their water to be radioactive, that I'm getting a 1,200 counts a minute, but I have to be within a foot of a uh, strontium-90 source. Sixty-four. That's pretty high. Alrighty. Now, let me show you um, what it looks like when I pull it out. Do, 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 do. Put that back on top. Alrighty. Inside of the container, of course, it covers up just about everything. Let me flip it upside down. And I think... Let's see if we got it this time. Nope. Man, I swear, I'm no good with this today. But let us dump this out here on the table. Of course, it dumped upside down, naturally. There we go. Now, upside down it's not so bad. See? And that's how I'm going to mostly mess with it when it's upside down. Underneath the table, what's it doing? Nothing. The table's blocking it. So, from here on the table like this, it's not that dangerous. I'm aware, by the way, that all the nuclear people out there would gladly hold this without any problem, but, well, that's them, not me. So I'm going to have some fun showing you all uh, everything about beta emissions with this and talking about it. It's a neat, a neat isotope, along with its partner here, the amory, uh, amory seem, the polonium-210, that's strontium-90. It's decaying into yttrium-90, and then from that into zircon-90. Neat. Oh, and one last little bit. Take a look at the difference between the two Geiger counters.
this guy or counter on the left is at 490. This one is at 66. Wow. I know which one I want to use to detect radiation. Yeah. Anyway, so this has been Tom from AntiDashProton.com, and um, super fun. Bye-bye.